All right, so check it out. I picked up this uh, TV tray table from Walmart with the intent to, I don't know, let's see if I could make a cheap stand for the for the At Games Legends Gamer Mini. Um, I picked this up for uh, $89 on sale at Walmart. I'm not sure what it normally goes for, but apparently it was on sale, so I snagged it. Um, I just thought that maybe, oh, and I apologize, uh, my voice is a little bit off today, I'm not feeling too well, but I really wanted to get this accomplished. Anyways, I was thinking that I could take, like, my router and just make a hole for it to just drop right into. I thought that would be pretty cool. The only other thing that I'm kind of figuring out is, uh... So up underneath it, it's got like, here, hold up, let's, uh, let's move it. So anyways, up underneath it, it's got this little uh, piece of cloth to hold the, uh, uh, to hold the bars in place and stuff. And I might relocate that. Maybe I'll just slide it over to the right a little bit. I don't know, but uh, we'll see you in a second. Stand by. Okay, so I had, uh, I slid this, this panel and this panel over a little bit with this strap and I wasn't happy with it. So I ended up just putting it back where it was and cutting the strap out. Um, as long as this goes like this, the TV tray is still going to hold. We're, uh, yeah, we're good. I'll make my hole now. Well, ghetto measure for it. Let's see. Alright, so I went ahead and kind of measured where it needs to be. So now I'm going to trace it out. Let's uh, check it out. It doesn't, and now this doesn't really have to be perfect because the lip of this is going to be over it. So it's going to cover up any marks that I make. I'm just using this uh, cheap dry erase marker as well. It doesn't really matter. It could be permanent because I'm going to make a hole anyway. So whatever. Okay. Okay. All right, there's my uh there's my trace area if you can see. Now I will uh, go ahead and dig in. Oh uh, yeah, before I start making my holes and everything, just in case you wanted to see the exact model that I got, there it is. And uh, yeah, it was just readily available at Walmart. I originally got the regular size, but it wasn't big enough. So yeah, go with the oversize. Okay, so let's do this. I've got my... Ryobi router. Um, got my depth set for longer than, I mean, for further than the depth of the table, so it'll just go right through. And uh, yeah, let's do this. All right. Actually, I don't like how it's making my little dry erase marker disappear, so let me go get a different marker. Stand by. All right, so... It is complete. As you can see, it's sitting in here nice and flush. If I um, take this, there's a, uh, it is a little bit tight, which is good because it kind of holds it in place. As you can see, I am not the, uh, I'm not like 
the carving routing god whatever you want to call it you know but i was able to make a ton of uh like dust mess all over my patio as well as inside my house which that was terrible oh yeah never try to cut <laughs> or sorry never try to shape mdf inside the house <laughs> you're gonna have a bad time but that said just drops in give it a little pressure and uh yeah we're up nice techno billy yeah one last thing i would like to point out is that all the ports like the little controller port for the uh legends ultimate the usb port if you want to go wired and uh our little power adapter right there are all still accessible yeah, I think it came out really well. Anyways, this was just a quick video to show, um, I don't know, I got an idea uh, the other day and I put it into action today. So yeah, if you like the video, click the like button, get subscribed, you know, do all that good stuff, you know, if it's good. <laughs> Anyways, Techno Billy, out.